Hello, good morning, and welcome to this week's little weekly vlog. My name's Emma. Make sure you subscribe for hauls and all sorts of things. I've just come back from a Brummy Mummy meetup, so once a month or every other month, I run a little meetup for kind of Midlands mums, and I organise with the brand so they can have like a cake and a cup of tea and somewhere nice. So if you are local, make sure you go and check out my blog and look for Brummy Mummy Meetups and come along. I issue tickets via a newsletter because when I first started five years ago, after about the second meetup and like, I don't know, 70 people turned up to a Starbucks, I was like, hmm, I need to issue some free tickets. But let's forget that. Oh, this dress is Boohoo, the one that I wore in my try-on and I love it, but it's that material that makes you sweat a bit. So I'm a bit like, oh, oh. Um, but I do really like it and I got a lot, a lot of nice compliments, but forget that. Just come home. I think this is my book. I'll be very disappointed if I've got all excited and this isn't my book, but I think it's my book. And I feel... I'm going to go in the other room because I reckon I can put you down there better. And I feel like I need, like I systematically, all at the very same time, that I need a wee poo and I want to be sick and I want to cry. I, where, when I did a video about getting my book, I write in the book, I was like, it's that weird thing where you, you write it and then there's a little long amount of time and nothing kind of happens, but things are going on that you don't know about. But, I feel really weird. Shall I open it? Lucy, can I show the people? Yeah. Is this mother's book? This book? You helped me write this. And by help me write this, she sat next to me and ignored me for a good proportion of the time whilst she licked her privates. Shall we open it? Shall we open it? Shall I open it? Don't move if you want me to open it. Yeah. Let's put you back on the couch. Your little shoes on, let you out for a wee there. I'm going in. I'm opening the envelope. I feel like I'm gonna puke. God, I'm literally terrified. So this is from Emily and it says, it's here. I hope you're as proud as it. <laughs> I'm speaking. It's here. I hope you are, hope you're as proud of it as we are of you, Emily. Can't even speak. I'm literally shake. I'm actually shaking. It's like, it's like a proper book. It's like a proper book with like proper things on the back. In her first book, General Force for Good, Emma Conway, aka Brummy Mummy 2, explores motherhood in all its glory through the medium of hilarious and uplifting poem. A mum to two young mu humans herself, she revisits the days of potty training and toddler tantrums, dives deep into the first days of school and watching your babies grow into little people, and writes frankly about life after having kids, embracing the mum bod, and giving zero sods. And then it's got like audiobook available, it's got the price. It's got all my social media. I know, oh my God, I know like it's not like you get like a big, thick Harry Potter book, but it's like a book of poetry. So they're all like, it's just like little, oh my God. This is gonna be like in shops. I'm gonna be able to walk into a shop and buy it. And when I did the audio, when I did the audio book the other day and I was reading it out because I had this real panic. I thought, because I'd written it so long ago, I thought, oh my God, what if I, what if I read out the poems and, I'm, and I think they're terrible and I think they're rubbish? What if that happens? What if that happens to me? But fortunately I read them and I thought, Do you know what? I think they're okay.
Oh man. It says for em for Erin and Ethan, love you mostest. Because if you watch if you watch Tangled, it's probably a bit sinister. But Tangled, uh, Mother Gothel is go love you, love you more, love you mostest. And that's what we say to the kids. I say love you, love you more, and I go, love you mostest. A bit like Mother Gothel. Let's forget that she wasn't a great role model but yeah and it's got all like the thank yous at the back <sighs> big day guys right i'm gonna go and literally calm down and i will come back to you at some point um with something else but yeah if you're interested in pre-ordering the book the link is below um look it's got like a side things and everything so like if you put it on your shelf it's got like a side thing <laughs> right see you later it's very very excited ah uh, i have calmed down now I just facetime my sister and i facetime steven at work to show them i was like look what's arrived my baby has arrived and then i dropped it on the floor and, and uh, bonked bonked the edge of it because that my friends is how I roll. Right, next week, next Sunday's video is going to be a, um, like a makeup organization video because I looked, oh, this is a nice little, I need to tidy up the background. I looked on, looked at my makeup and I was, cause you know, if you follow me on Insta stories, I say in an Instagram, I was like, I wanna, I don't know, I'm feeling a bit meh at the moment about the way I look. And I've got like a couple of work events, um, like just little part, like just work events. And I felt a bit blah about the way I looked. So I ordered some clothes, which you would have seen on Sunday. It was a complete disaster. Look, it's like focusing on the monkeys behind me. They focus on me, not the monkeys. <laughs> it's focusing on the creepy monkeys. Ethan's creepy monkeys in the background. Um, and I also ordered some makeup, which I reckon will be coming tomorrow. So on Sunday's video, I'm going to do like a complete pulling everything out. Because some of my makeup is so old. So I used this Too Faced chocolate bar palette of the day. And I saw it said 12 months. I, I wish it had dates on it because I would say this is pre airing and I'm putting that on my eyes. And that is unacceptable. And what's some of the other things? Like, I wish they had like actual dates on it. Cause wouldn't that be like, like this pigment, this like MAC pigment, it's years old. So I've ordered some new makeup and I'm gonna really go for my makeup. And there are some, like, I probably won't chuck that chocolate bar away because I feel like it's a bit like collectors. Like I've got the original, do you remember they stopped doing it? The Naked palette. Like, got the Naked palette there. Um, but this one, like, look at the colours are like right down. Is it down to pan? Is that what you say? It's down to pan. So I'm really looking forward to getting that and I'm going to do really good, sort of clean. I'm going to, I've got loads of inserts and stuff already. So I don't need to buy any, but I can clean them. But what I did also get was I used to use, sorry if I keep dipping in and out of focus, it's them bloody monkeys getting all the attention. I always used to use this Babyliss circle, curling, circle curling thing as it's known in the biz. And I did really love it. And it's really dirty now and I did really love it and I thought, it's really good. I recommend it to loads of people and it kind of wasn't online anymore. Then I saw my sister in London the day and I got this Mark Hill magic wand. Oh my gosh. One, it's really easy to use. And two, it doesn't take, it takes like a third of the time of that one. And I got it on the Mark Hill website and there was, it was £30 instead of £50. So you might... I'll leave a link below. It's not an affiliate. It'll just be a link. 
um, and go and have a little look and see if you can get it. I really, really, really like it a lot because I also did buy the GHD curling one. I just couldn't use it. I just don't know. Maybe I'm thick. I just couldn't use it. So I'm really pleased with that. It was really, really good. So if you want to do like kind of slightly wavy hair, really, really quick, definitely give that a go because it's really, really good. So that'll be a, a video I'm really looking forward to because you know I like videos where you come along with me. Also, I got this little ring when I went to London from And Other Stories. I've got massive fat fingers and it fitted. And I got this little necklace. So in, in Topshop, the, the big one in London, you could buy a little like bar necklace and have whatever you want put on it. So I've got Bab put on it. But if you're looking for anything like that, I don't know if, I know that it's online, I'm not sure if it's on the Topshop site, but for 25 quid it was gold. I thought that was really good value. So I don't know why I'm just having one of those. Yeah. We all go through them, don't we? That kind of bleh moments. Maybe it's the weather, it's very cold. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn you off and I'm actually gonna film the video that you would have seen on Sunday because I like this, but you will notice tricks of the trade. I'm gonna move that bag, which has got Disney stuff. Because you, do you know I'm on TikTok? Have I told you this? I'm on TikTok. I'm 42 and I'm on TikTok. <laughs> So, um, and I needed a Disney t-shirt because my assistant helped me do a TikTok and I needed it, so I had to get the Disney stuff out. So I'm gonna move that stuff there out of the way and I'm gonna move the monkeys out of the way. So you will have seen the video and it'll all be clear. And you're in the know. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll probably come back to you maybe tomorrow. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. So that's the day before Valentine's Day. And I'm going out with my friend Sarah. Also got these little ear, like I love a hoop earring. Monkeys, bloody, still, it's still in focus. Are they alive? Is it a ghost? Are they going to kill me while I, have I got lipstick on my chin? Oh, I'm so embarrassing. Hello loves, it's Valentine's Day. So yesterday I was gonna film with Sarah because we were gonna go and do lovely national trust walks and then that didn't happen because the weather was terrible so it's valentine's day for me as you watch this i just watched ethan in a school assembly the washing machine's on because we know i do a load i'm gonna pause it because it's very loud i hope emma of the past remembers to start again i didn't want to see ethan in an assembly it was very cute he was doing uh stuff about mexico and then he they did like a story about valentine's and he was valentine's and he had like a red um uh like a red tie and like a red little joy he says look so cute talk so cute i love going to see them in assembly because i also get to see erin as well but then i wanted to like just bring them home because it's half term Boop. half term so the kids are off the next week She's very exciting. I am very pleased to be having them off. Um, I thought I would just show, I mean, I know it's out of date now, but I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I did for Valentine's Day. So you can have a little look around. I just popped up some little bun in here. This candle I got from Aldi last week and it is very nice. Number 23, Red Roses. It was a tenner, which isn't bad for a three wicker. I'm doing it wrong, Garner. What's the word where the... I can't ever get my candles to level. <laughs> uh, I've got a heart oven glove. We did have a heart tea towel, but that's gone in the wash. What else have I got? Oh, I've got my little hot chocolate station, which is just like candles and sprinkles. That was filled with chocolate, but I gave up to the kids. My Ray Dum, just some straws. Um, I'm currently making myself a new tea, chamomile and honey, because I'm starting to love the chamomile. This is my, my romantic washing. Nothing says sexy like a bra. <laughs> uh, and then the kids had breakfast this morning, so they had like, um, that was full of croissants. So they had like croissants and they had cups with the nice straws. And then we kind of all exchanged cards and then I've done that little thing with all bits and pieces and then annoyingly much little, is it called confetti? So 
um, yeah, it was really, really cute. We had a really nice, nice little morning. Um, and then there's just like another little banner over there. So it was nice. I'll show you one of the things, because Steve and I exchanged like, like just staff little gifts. One of the things that Stephen got me. So I got him some like, he wanted some toiletries. And we always get each other some sweets and stuff, you know. And he bought me some flowers as well. Uh, but one of the things he got me, is it glass? I think it is glass, I've got to have to be careful. So I got this wrapped up and I was like, what the hell is it? Cause it's a giant like round box and it is, is it, it is glass. It's a Disney fund, um, like a Disney money box for Disney holidays, but it's glass, which seems, I suppose like, you know, back in the old days, did anybody who have, have relatives or did any of you collect cash in like big giant, like glass bottles? That is a thing. I'm not just invented that, have I? Let me know in the comments. So it said, it's a start, getting closer. And then if you save half of it, it says Disneyland Paris, then it's save a bit more and then it's Disney World, Florida. So I thought that was quite fun. Might keep that in my office and start saving all my pennies. I tell you what, I don't know what kind of money you'd have to be putting in here to fill up to top to, to go for this, unless it was 50 pound notes. Because if you put pennies and you filled it all the way to the top, you still ain't going to Disney World. But um, yeah, that was cute. So that did make us have a little giggle. Um, so actually the kids are, for the first time ever, not ever, the first time since we've had children, we are going out for Valentine's Day. So this is probably the first time, because we probably didn't when I was maybe 10 years. I don't think we've been out, the two of us on Valentine's Day. I don't know, I don't think so. And Stephen asked his mum to babysit, so that's exciting. So we're gonna go and watch the, um, the Harley Quinn film. But, so Josie's picking them up from school and then, so I, I mean, we're not having a date at like nine o'clock. This date will be done by eight o'clock. But um, Stephen's gonna get back a bit early and then we're gonna go to the cinema. So that'd be really nice. I'll change into a swing cast. I've got my comfy baby grow jumpsuit. So my plan today is I'm editing the video that you will have seen on Sunday. I'm waiting for some parcels. And then, oh, I thought I'd lost my necklace. And then, um, Tomorrow or Sunday, Stephen and I are gonna really deep clean our bathroom, which sounds boring, but I can't wait. And I'm gonna bring you along so you can see the kind of products that we use. Cause it, it just, it just, just got really grubby all of a sudden. So it needs a really good, it needs a kind of a hands on the knees, like going under the bath kind of clean. I don't know, I don't know if you like a bit of cleaning so that's my plan right i'm going to go for away and then i'm going to go down to edit the video which i hope you enjoyed um i'll see you in a bit hiya it's saturday the room is a tip because we're changing the sheets and it's just mayhem in here but i did get a delivery from joni and i said i was going to show you some of the stuff they sent and i've got this dress on and it has made me so happy that i had to show you so let's take a look it's black with gold spots, shows a bit of booby, and it's got pockets. I just absolutely love, love, love this. So thanks so much for sending it, Joni. I think this could be the book launch dress, maybe. I mean, I just, oh, it's just lovely. I just tried this on and everyone, it's got pockets as well. It's like multicolored, they're not coming up very good on here. Like multicolored spots. Um, really, really nice. I love this. I'm not sure what shoes I'd wear. I think you're probably supposed to wear like a ballet flat with or something. Um, but this is another great journey. They've had, the, I've had this dress numerous times. I've had it in like blue, I've had it in red, but it's a really, really, really nice easy to wear, comfy frock. Well done, Joni. I've had this style of frock from Joni before. I've had the leopard print one. Um, and it is really nice, I just would just, I just need a bit of tights to flatten down me, um, me gut. <laughs> but this is an Erin just went, you need to put something underneath it. It's a bit like, woo! She's watching me on the bed. We're just watching some telly together. But yeah, and they sent it me in bright green as well. But this is another really low, um, 
products are obviously on trend, aren't they? But yeah, good journey. I'll leave the links below. I don't think they'll be affiliate, but I'll, I'll leave them anyway. Um, because I don't think um, Jenny does affiliates, but huzzah. Ah, it's storm Dennis outside. So we are going to clean the bathroom now. Um, the bathroom has like white floors and we've got like a claw clawed bath that's really dirty under it. Um, it needs, we need to put everything out. I wanna, like the polishing I do every week, but I wanna clean out all the, um, oh, like all down here. Oh, I can't, it's gross. Down here is all like, oh, can you see? Can you see? It's all really grubby. All down here is really grubby. So we need to really get on our hands and knees. It's just, it's just grubby. I want to pull this out and give it really, really good clean. Um, Stephen actually went under there and vacuumed everything. It just needs, just like the plant, which is fake, is really grubby in the corners. It's just gross. So I'm hoping, and the radiator. So I'm really hoping if we do a good job, then we can just keep on top of it. Um, oh, can I pop you in our little cupboard so you can see me? Is that gonna fall over so I can show you what we're using? If you wanna, did a 4180. You can tell I'm on TikTok. Yeah, I'm on TikTok now, guys. I'm gonna look a mess. I'm on TikTok now, so go and follow me over there. I've been doing some stupid videos. Right, we are using Wild Rhubarb Method anti back smells like a dream like so nice um also we're using this wild rhubarb all floor cleanser cleaner so you just spray it on the floor and wipe it like you just squirt it out it's it smells so nice i would love it if you can leave any recommendations in the comments for like maybe like a rhubarb candle then we're using mr sheen makes empty things clean mr sheen to polish and we're just gonna pack on with it. I'm taking my cardio off, I'm so hot. So, I, do, I use, because I use the bathroom upstairs, this one is for the kids. It does get a bit, it does get a bit grubby. So, right, Stephen, are you ready to help? Oh my God, I've just seen the back. I'm gonna show you, this is great. I'm coming. Oh my God, you're gonna vomit. I need the vacuum. Look at the back. Can you see the back of the plant pot? How dirty it is. All the dust. Unacceptable. This all needs cleaning. So, I'll come back. I'm not gonna do a fancy um, speed clean montage, but let me know if you want me to do one of those in, in the future. Uh, Erin's just mooching around. Erin, could you do me a favor and will you be able to polish that plant for me? Because okay. we've got a big plastic plant and it's really out of hand. Right, I'll come back when it's not. So filthy. Got Erin to polish all the plant, yeah. and I'm gonna um, scrub all the back of that. That's so dirty. I think what we need to do is start rotating the plant around so it doesn't get dirty. And we've made a start on these, and I'm going through, I went through my bath bombs and bubble baths and everything because we get treats and then I don't think we really use them very often so I'm gonna, I've tied all that up and now I'm gonna give all this a good, shall I pull this out so we can clean behind it today? Yeah. yeah, pull it out just to clean. Should we pull it out and then we can mop us everything then, can't we? This floor is beautiful but you think we should perhaps have a different floor, don't you, Stay? You're not a fan of the white. I think it looks lovely but I do think it's not, not very easy to manage. Let me know what you think in the comments. It feels so clean in here. It feels so nice and clean. And what I'm gonna do is put all the stuff back and I might move some plants from upstairs I've got. I would quite like a few more natural plants. We took the curtain down as well to give that a wash. But it, it really, we really need, because we moved in and we've never decorated it, but we've got things like big holes. That, you might remember my friend Sarah's children came to play and there was an unfortunate incident of um, hide and seek. We pulled it down, left lots of holes in the bathroom. So, 
yeah maybe that could be a little project um need to look into it really i don't know how much that would cost the bath says that all the sink and everything's lovely it just needs like new tiles a lick of paint shower curtain because the children we don't actually use the shower down here ever no we don't need a shower curtain i don't know but i'm gonna put put it back and add some knickknacks and i'll come back to you yay it looks so much cleaner and actually i think i've had a bit of an idea so i put so we took the curtain down but if that's there do we need a curtain i don't know so we've got this as an accent of pink my friend sheila bought this for my 40th um because we have an in joke about bees and it's got to get a pig on so that's come down but i've added this little pink plant here and this plant over here i bought pre Stephen. i think i bought it in the year in between i split with one boyfriend and i met, met Stephen. And it's grown and grown and grown and grown. And I remember getting this plant pot, um, the ball ring in Birmingham where I lived opened. And I remember going with my friend at time. I didn't have a car, I couldn't drive. And getting this, I was like, I have to have that pot. And getting it and then bringing it back on the bus really regretfully. So maybe, because we do need to change up our towels soon. Maybe I might change the towels to like, pinks i'm not sure but that's pink and that's pink and he's pink that was five pound and morrison's and that's like beige not sure but it feels so much cleaner i feel so you know i could put all like little pink flannels and that couldn't i oh an idea is forming uh because also the inside of the um washing basket is a pink thing which is not in tucked out at the moment it's a bloody massive bathroom and we're really lucky in birmingham a lot of the kind of old terraced houses do have ginormous bathrooms because in the olden days they would have had the kitchen the bathroom downstairs and then this would have been a bedroom somebody's playing a harmonica so this would have been a bedroom and then people usually convert the I'm, I'm on the toilet but i'm not on the toilet <laughs> i look like I'm, but i am like in drags and actually on the toilet um and people then convert one of the bedrooms to two little it's very it's very complicated but this should have been a bathroom and the, the original bathroom would have been downstairs and then because we've got three stories we added another bedroom upstairs um for so much better because you know you just feel like your house is a bit grubby and if you're having guests around for half term I wanted to make sure that it was nice and clean for them and I'm gonna really really try to keep on top of it now now we've done like a real deep clean it should be easier for us to just keep on top of because uh, the bathroom I go in I never come in this bathroom ever really it's the, where the kids go and I use the bathroom upstairs, which is like my little bathroom. Stephen shaves in this one and shave upstairs. So there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a bit more of a weekly vlog this week, hasn't it? Which is good. Um, half term starting tomorrow, so I'm excited to be with the kids. Not sure what I'm going to film this week, so but I'm really looking forward to that. And then I have a week, and then the book comes out, so it's going to be like events and stuff if you're coming to the Birmingham Waterstones event I can't wait to meet you I think there's going to be event up, an event up north as well so I'll make sure you know that it's happening if you live up north and you want to come and say hello um, but I love you lots I'll see you in the comments and I will speak to you very very soon bye guys